Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at this. This is a radon tester for your house. Uh, it's a Hound 3699 unit. As you hear some of your uh, features on this, it has a high precision sensor. The touch screen is color. Your results are 100% done in one hour. You can leave it running longer than that. It will store the data so that you can look back and see what you had. You can set your alarm for whatever sound you want and it has to have a large storage capacity. Uh, once again, this is the AEG, AEG test. It's the Hound 369.99 radon detector. Comes in either blue, black, or white. As you see, this checked here. This one's black. So a lot of this, when you're looking at this, the way the box is made, it looks like it's going to be the kind of unit you just slide out. It's not. It actually has a magnetic front, and it locks back in place. Cardboard box, but it's made fairly sturdy so that you can reuse it. There's foam inside of here to keep your unit safe. It has a USB to C charge cord because this is a rechargeable unit. So, but it's basically the same as a phone. So if you don't have an outlet that you can plug this into with that, most phones have the piece that goes on here or you can buy one. It has a pretty simple, straightforward booklet. So we're gonna show you that. So when you get the unit, it's gonna weigh less than a pound. It's pretty lightweight. It also has a rubber coating on it. It's pretty sturdy. It has a cover on the top here you can remove which I'm not going to. So in order to turn it on, right here above your charge place, this is where charge, you're just going to hold this button till you see the top come on. You'll see a little blue dot up there a couple of times, and it's going to come on. It's going to say welcome. So it's basically going through the setup. It's clearing old data, getting new data ready. And then it's going to look like this. So you'll see it's set up for one hour testing. You can change that. It is also going to come up to ask for your time and date and everything. See, my time and date are not correct. I can go in there and change that. I just haven't yet because I just opened it. So it's going to run the test for about an hour. Then it will tell you how much radon you have in your air. Because uh, you don't want it. It, it. Radon is dangerous. You want to make sure you don't have any issues with it. The air basically going to come in here and out there. And it's going to test through and out. Or it comes in here and out there. Excuse me. So in order to shut it off, you're basically just going to hold this button for a few seconds and it's going to say, do you want to stop? You're going to say yes and it'll shut it off quick and easy. So we're going to show you a few more functions of it. I'm going to turn it on again. It's coming back on. It'll do this every single time you shut it off. You can leave it on all the time to constantly have it testing, but once you test it once, you can just check every now and then. You don't have to leave it on all the time. You'd have to keep recharging it if you do. So it's a push. See, it's at 91%. So you're going to go inside. You can check your measures here. And you can see it's running. It's checking your particles per liter. Settings are here. You can set your alarm. You can set eco-friendly. So we go into alarm. You can set up your particle alarm. So if this is high, you can turn that on and it will beep to tell you it's high. Otherwise, you're just going to have to come back and check it. You just say, okay. Eco-friendly. You can set it on sleep, brightness. You can turn up the volume how loud you want it. The unit numbers. It's set on particles per liter. I'm going to leave it there, but you can change that. And then, of course, your time and date. So it's actually, it, for me, it's actually not. So I go up here to four. Today is the 30th. And my time is actually three in the afternoon. Just like that. Do you want to reset it? Yes, I do. Next time I turn it on, it will have the correct time and date. It came preset up one day ahead. So probably in a different time zone. So it's still running its chat check for a certain amount of time. So we can go back in. We can retest it. If your test goes and you're done, you want to retest it. It says, do you want to clear it? Well, no, we're still running a test. Do you want to turn on the alarm, turn off the alarm system? No, I don't. You can lock it so that nobody can mess with it. Do you want to unlock? Yes, I do. And then you can go in here and just basically it tells you a lot of things about it. See, this is what you're checking for is radon. So when inhaled in the body, alpha particles that decay from radon can cause radiation damage to the respiratory system, leading to lung cancer, especially in young children and pregnant women. 
posing a fatal danger based upon the average radon level in a country. Radon is estimated to cause 3% to 14% of lung cancer. So that's why you want a radon tester to make sure you don't have radon in your air. So you'll see this set, my brightness is set at 80%. This is handy to have. You don't have to leave it on all the time, but you can. It's light. It's easy. It's going to, mine came fully charged. So you're going to periodically, especially if you have children or a pregnant spouse or a pregnant person in the house, you want to make sure that it's as safe as possible. And radon is, you can't detect it by your nose. You need to have something like this to check for it. So you can go through here and tech, check it. So we're going to show you when it's done running its test. Right now it's running. It's been running for one minute. It's going to take me about an hour to get the final numbers. So after that, we're going to come back, show you it's been running, show you what it looks like. Guys, we're back. This has been running, as you see here, for 16 minutes. After about 5 to 10 minutes, I started getting my initial readings. Uh, so in about roughly 10 minutes, it has not changed. So you basically you let this run for an hour and see if this changes. I don't look for it to change very much. But it's going to look like this. It's going to tell you your readings. Mine is 2.675, which is in the green. So green is not bad. You'll notice it will change colors as it gets worse. If you got down here in the purple or the dark red, that's definitely something you an issue you're going to have to look into. Ours is not bad, which I didn't look for it to be bad. But this is nice to have to keep an eye on something like that. Uh, if you're worried about radon or you're really careful person, you're definitely going to want to purchase one of these. If so, we will put the link inside uh, the description so you can buy one of these, show you where to get it. Definitely want you to think about getting one of these. They're nice to have around. They're lightweight and they're really convenient. So like, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and thank you for watching. As you see here, guys, this has been running now for 22 minutes. My radon level has dropped. I look for it to only keep dropping. Um, I don't think I have a problem. I just bought, got one of these just in case you ever do have an issue. It's nice to have, or if you have something happen that you think is odd, it's nice to have one of these to have in the house so you can check it. Um, right now, like I said, it's 1.84. I look for it to keep dropping. This is just handy to have. And this is what it'll look like as it runs. So overall, this unit's lightweight. It's covered in a, like a soft, spongy surface. So I like this unit, especially if you want to be aware of your radon in your house. You want to be safe. I definitely would recommend getting one of these. It's lightweight. It's rechargeable. It It's used about 2% in had it on and off for about 30 minutes or so. So you have to recharge it if you use it all the time, maybe every 8 to 10 hours. No big deal. It, does, it charges pretty fast, and I definitely would recommend getting one of these.